Let's now solve number 20 on the 12B. Cyrus the Flog sits on a flat surface and jumps, landing two feet away. He then chooses another direction at random and again jumps two feet. What's the probability? Cyrus will land within one foot of a starting position. So we got a two here. So it's like, imagine Cyrus jumps right back. That would obviously be zero. So it's like, okay, one, 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 one. There'll be some point where this distance is exactly one. And beyond that point, it's going to be more than one, right? As this theta gets bigger, this distance will get bigger. So two, two. So, what's, so what is this maximum value of theta? Well, we can just solve for it. Some people, they did something where they did law of cosines to find this angle. And while that is good, you have to pay attention to the option choices. We see tangent and sine, but nowhere cosine. So while you could use law of cosines and then be like, okay, convert it to sine by using, you know, Pythagorean identity or something like that. You could do that, but it's much easier just to drop the altitude. That's half. And then now see, okay, this is theta over two. So we have theta over two is equal to inverse sine of one half by two, which is one fourth. So theta is just two sine, two arc sine one fourth. So that's the value of theta over here. And then remember that there's also going to be two arc sine one fourth on the other side, the maximum value of theta on the other side, right? Because we have, it can go either way, maximum two, two arc sine one fourth here or two arc sine one fourth the other direction. So we have four times sine inverse one fourth, and we have to divide this by the total angle, which is two pi. So this cancels out to get two sine arc two arc sine one fourth over pi. And that is the answer for this problem. Hope you enjoyed.